So chat, I've got more creepy Mario hacks for you. This is actually part two, and these are not .exe games, but these are apparently ones I haven't played before, and this is a pack by Shadow578. I've been holding on to these for a couple months now, so I don't know, figured tonight would be a good night for some Mario. We've got a mix of Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 Marios, and this one is called Iggy's Castle. Just want to test something real quick, chat. Hang on. Yep, that's what I thought. So the game starts with a Discord notification. Very good. Hyper-realistic 8-bit blood. I can't wait. Yeah, I wonder if there's that, that death flute. You get bonus stars if you cut the tape at the end of each area. If you collect 100 bonus stars, you can play a fun bonus game. Nice. Oh no, spooky smiley faces are the, my favorite. <laughs> Chat, I think we have hyper-realistic 16... Blood. I just keep coming back for more with these creepy Mario hacks. I just don't know. I don't know why I keep doing it. There it is. It is actually hyper-realistic. Your light source. It's like almost the Sephiroth um, heartbeat noise. Welcome to my shop. Buy anything you like. I'm here for a little chat as well. What, what the hell is this? Why do you bother saving a princess? Shouldn't you save yourself first? 10,000 coins for a flashlight. What about 100? Your soul, give it to me. Sure. You offer your soul and get the flashlight. Your body is weak and empty. <laughs> if you die, they remember your state when putting your soul back in. Do not be afraid and die happily. Uh, soulless Mario sp like sprite is actually... Very good. You know, I'm gonna make sure I have rewinds, just in case. Because... This is one of those things that I don't want to actually, you know, end up spending too much time. Uh, if I end up dying a million times... And of course, rewind isn't enabled. Settings, uh... Sorry chat, I have to look for this fucking option. I always do. I, I don't know where it is. Uh, rewind buffer. Okay, I uh, got it. Like 300. Got it. Alright, cool. 
I know it seems like when I play these, I just end up making fun of them. And while that is correct, because some of them are actually just nothing, it's the same, like, <laughs> game every time. I do genuinely want to play some that are good. Why is that thwimp bleeding? It's made of rocks. Sephiroth do this? Lore implications, yeah. We need a 15-page creepypasta. At least 15 pages. Maybe I should have just bought the flashlight without giving my soul. Or Mario's soul. Actually, this, yeah, I don't, this isn't my soul. I, I don't mind bargaining. God damn it. No, it's a fine. You're gonna take my soul. I don't mind. I don't really need it. But there's just an inherent, like, trend of... ...thing that we all grew up with and love and know as, as very innocent and... ...and friendly, being evil. That is really, like, that's how you get your success in this industry, chat. In the, the horror game industry. Not always. Well, no. no I'm just being, obviously, I'm being very silly by saying that. And I'm not speaking... Like, that's the only way, or does it work every time? No. But, like, I swear, the past five or six years or more... It's, like, Bam Bam. It's Charles. It's Sonic. It's Mario. I think we need, like, Wario to, like, be a good guy now. Like, we need to flip that. Oh, man. Of course, what am I doing? At least, I don't know, this, this has a good, creepy atmosphere, at least, right? Fuck you, boo. I'm sorry, chat, but I'm, I'm very happy that these boos have blood on them. I didn't know ghosts could, con like, contain blood on their, like, ghostly sheets, but... That... <laughs> That's not Michael Myers, is it? Very appropriate Super Metroid music. You killed the creature, its soul entered in your body, which now starts aching. You hear the shopkeepers laughing. Wait, I had, like, double Big Mario. That's weird. Oh, I'm Fire Flower Mario. That's why. I didn't see what's happening there. Again, when it comes to horror hacks, I have no problem using Rewind. Because, uh, I'm here for the, the horror, and not the, the difficulty, bro. Fake horror fan. I like watching horror movies on difficult.
You know what uh, watching a horror movie on difficult is? You take NyQuil and you try to jelk before you, like, get scared or fall asleep. The door is locked and agonizing pain can be felt when staying too close to it. Yeah, I mean, there's places where you can get some, some of, uh, ho homemade NyQuil chicken. It's like, try watching The Exorcist after having a nice, like, helping of, uh, NyQuil breast. Note, I don't actually condone this behavior. Mom, Vinny told me to eat NyQuil chicken and watch The Exorcist! I mean, my first exposure to The Exorcist, I was very, very young. I, I was like... Five? And that was a bad time. That was a very bad time. My cousin, never the club cousin, decided it would be a good idea to show me... The, uh, oh, he's dead. That's nice. You got a key, it's made out of organic matter. You can hear its breathing. Organic flesh key. But yeah, yeah, I just remember seeing Exorcist way too young. And and Poltergeist, which was like more comedy scary kind of, but it still was scary because it made me think that like things could just fly off the shelf. No idea if I'm going any which sort of right direction. Someone said they saw Child's Play at eight and it was terrified of and was terrified of dolls for years. Yeah, that that checks out. It's good for you though. It builds a little character. Get the stink off of you. Yeah. I swear I'm a, I'm a good Mario gamer. I see you completely lost it very well. Yeah, I lost... Ex I don't know where to go. Ah, yes, the murder house. <laughs> okay, we're just killing toads now. Am I supposed to, like, feel bad about this? Because... Because I've wanted to do this for a while. I, I cannot avoid taking a hit. What even got me that time? Ah. Well, at least this is somewhat different than the usual... Mario uh, is evil and Luigi is is good or vice versa What's 
this silly little music? Bad ending, you crushed Toad Town. <laughs> that is the scummiest looking toad I've ever seen. This is Bowser's inside story music. It's it's kind of perfect for this. Toad, your tits are out. Put your titties away! What are you doing? Alright, Alpha Sphere is the next one. I'll tell you what, let me just real quick read you a credit for Iggy's Castle. Obviously, I got a terrible ending. I'm sure there's better endings, but... Um... The, uh... That one was created by Wakana. So this next one is Alpha Sphere Director's Cut. Warning, potential epilepsy, eye strain, jump scares, loud noises, sexual themes. What? Uh, anyway, from the makers of 100 Rooms of Enemies, Daiso Devon, the head of Team Nightmare. That's Alpha Sphere, director's cut. If you're going to warn me that a Mario game has sexual content... Apparently, it's just implied, so it should be fine for the stream, but... Okay. Well... It's like a Pico 8 Virtual Boy game. I was the only one who ever loved you. It says Dr. Andre. Tomorrow we will go do it. You won't run this time. I know you don't want this, but it must be done soon. Look, I even built a crib for our proud young one. Please, for our sake. Oh, so that was real. That warning. That wasn't a meme warning. <laughs> and then it looks like this. Cut off of the land was always forbidden to fall. Maybe it's time I finally ended here. It didn't kill me. What is this? No, it can't be. I can't die until it has found a new home. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Do you think this creator might have done well to find a different medium for the story rather than Bing Bing Wahoo? I wouldn't have played it if it wasn't Bing Bing Wahoo, I guess. This character looks like a turnip. Is that the Alpha Sphere? No. How curious. I suggest you put it back, my dear. Don't make me repeat what I said. It is, yeah, I mean, working within limitations is also kind of cool. I have a future Pico 8 pack and Smile Basic for 3DS. And that is just purely, like, limitations that are self-imposed. And, uh... It does create some really interesting games, and...
I have no idea what to do. Fimble the hole. No. Oh. That hole. It's like, even the, the sounds... <laughs> it's like, here's these highly nostalgic sounds. And then, sounds like this. That's this game's Mortis. What's going on here? Oh, that, okay. Something. I get it now. Just basic stuff that you have to do. We have to rewind. Someone said, I really like the rewind mechanic. Yeah. The real... and officially in-game rewind mechanic. I have to be careful here. Crossing a laser completely wipes out my amount of resistance. I like the music. And say what you will, it, it's still kind of unique. It's got Bing Bing Wahoos. But, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of like different when you're playing as not Mario, you're playing as something else. Norma. The gates have numbers on them, yeah. get it. He did it again? Wait, what? Explain it. You did it right and then you did it wrong still, huh? Melipuerto. Wait, explain. So... So I did this right. Now what? Excess switches aren't retained? Don't run through the first one. Gotta love the rewind mechanic. What the hell is he doing? I really don't understand what's happening.
Now do the switches. Oh, I think I get it. So with the four switches, I don't go through there, I go through here instead. Oh, that makes some sense. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was a Melport, a certified Melport moment. We here at McDanuge heard your complaints, which is why we will never Danuge again. With the all new McFist Beef Beefler Bird. That's right, the new McFist. Four pounds of meat in one fist. Punches you in the face with flavor. Actually, let me revise that line. Donkey punches you in the face with flavor. Shit, that one's eight? How do you get it eight? You activated two lasers. Yeah. One. Oh, I, I think... Wait, 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 so... Vinny, I just noticed you have a time limit, too. I do. Wait, 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 wait. How many of these are there? Even. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's all of them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these, okay. It's kind of a weirdly engaging mechanic. I don't I don't know why. It's just something kind of different. It's doing its job. But yeah, without rewind, uh, there's there's probably every chance I would have quit this by now. Even if you do have a rewind door, the timer still... Still remains, okay? Remains. The music is also doing some... Some good atmosphere building for me, I like it. Sure, I've heard it in reverse more than I've heard it forward, but... Forward. I've, I say forward... And people are like, Vinny, you're saying for forward wrong. So I'm trying to enunciate so that it sounds more like squidward as opposed to forward. Who says that? Very proper human beings. Uh, also, I'm inventing chat members. Kick it up. Finally, a new home at last. It shall. Uh, it is time I destroy the sphere once and for all. Now it is my turn to jump in before he capture. Norma, what have you done? 
the Alpha Sphere is very reason you have been revived countless times. Humanity is doomed if we don't act now. If it was so easy to revive me that many times, why can't you bring the whole world back? <laughs> the Alpha Sphere can only revive the one the user loved most. Even as the last girl in this world, I will no longer be with you. You've changed. Lust has consumed the man I once knew. <laughs> Why is he a skeleton man? <laughs> this is not lust. This is salvation. <laughs> lust. And the Bing Bing Wahoo man. I am Dr. Foe Andre. I will be the one to bring humanity back. Dr. Foe Andre. I'm Sheriff Gene Freak. Welcome to Nilbog. Have some green sandwiches. Reminds me of Zelda too. It shouldn't, <laughs> but it kind of does. No! <laughs> no. Was that Michael Scott pitched down? gone. What have I done? Oh, my poor wife, my world is gone. Without the Alpha Sphere, I can't bring her back. No. But I suppose she wanted this. So sorry, Norma. Ending A finally at peace. So we'll, yeah, there's more endings, chat. I think, um, if anyone plays this and finds more endings, please let me know what they are. Leave a comment, like some scrum, and some leave a comment. Someone just said, Vinny, please take this garbage more seriously. I, I wouldn't say that was garbage. There, it was a little funny. It was a little tonally dissonant, but it was kind of like the puzzle was kind of cool. The chase sequence was decent. <laughs> I get it, it's going for something. I don't know if it got there, but it, it, it was unique. I don't know. This one's called Bored. But not like B-O-R-E-D. Made by Rovertronic. Chairman of the board, huh? I already can't take this seriously. Is this supposed to be taken seriously? It's Germa. Horror cam. Same functionality as Lacka 2, except you can press D-pad to peek around corners. You can press L to do the following. I'll remember all that. Um, you are a worker at an underground mining facility. An abnormal fossil was... <laughs> was recently discovered while quar quarrying, and you have been tasked to take notes and document this newly discovered specimen. Yeah. Oh, I, have I played this? 
I have played this. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is familiar now. Was Germa on the sign? Yeah, I kind of kind of remember this. Not fully, obviously, but... The person that vetted, or made this pack, rather, said that they Yahoo! tried to make sure it was all stuff I haven't played. Yahoo! Yahoo! But there's a chance I, I played this after they made the pack. Yeah. But also, yeah, just watch every stream I've ever done, please. That would be great. Thanks. Just spend, like, a good chunk of your lifetime watching over 8,000 two-hour-long videos. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking a look at this one again for a couple minutes at the very least, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to spend too much time on this. I do have French Donkey Kong. Uh, not a game, by the way, but that was the thing I was going to do that I forgot to add to the title. But I might save that because it is actually incredibly cursed. And I don't want to, like, rush through it. I, I want to, like, actually understand what it is I'm looking at. Where are you going, Vinny? I don't have a fucking clue. Ah, well. Don't shaft the Atari pack. It, it is possible we might have to shaft it, Gordon. Ah, yes, the specimen. There you are. I've finished my report, so I'm going to submit my documents and leave. It is truly wonderful. It's actually just a sign head. Siren Head was, like, very popular and very successful, so... Someone... Many people probably got the really good idea of take household... Not that everyone has a siren. I do. I don't know about you, but... Take everyday objects. You know, I use my siren every day. And, uh, just throw them into a horror game. No, I did not just hear that. Please tell me that this isn't what I think it is! I also have a good getting weird with it built up for next time. I have acquired many weird and thus... Whether it be next week or the week after, I'm not sure, but I have uh, some good- I've, I've got some good material saved up. He's actually really replaying it. Yeah, kinda. Do you accept more Wheel of the Weird stuff? I mean, vinesauce.email if you want to submit a Sunday stream idea, game, pack- Oh! <laughs> Thrown back to the Germa sign. All right. The sorry, the sus guy. Since I've done that in a previous pack, I would imagine people could just go to that if they want. Whatever one it was. This one's um, by Feleg. It's called Please Come to the Castle. Please tell me I haven't done this one too. You have. Hmm. 
This is the static peach one. Oh, so then this pack is a failure. Got it. Um, I'm having a little bit of trouble. It's trying to it's trying to do something that's not working. Yeah, I, I probably played a bunch of this stuff after. That that sound that sounds like the most logical conclusion because this was like this was submitted like several months ago. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't even work. What happened to Parallel Launcher? I open Parallel Launcher and it's Bowser's Cum Jar 64. Close all applications. Let's just play the thing, no? Alright, special for you then. Let's try that. From Frike the Dragon, but this doesn't even work either. Ugh. No, don't actually install it. Special for you. Load? All right, so we, we've got a problem. And now we have to wait 30 seconds here. All right, good, good, good. All right, sorry, chat. This is a technical problem night again. So Parallel Launcher tried to install an update, and then the update broke. An error occurred. Access is denied. Try again. Okay. I'll just skip that file. Okay, chat, I got something working. I had to use a different thing. Technical problems, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll stop now. This is just called special for you. Thank you for jingling keys for us all. I, uh, you know, once in a while you gotta jingle some keys. even work <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't oh how about that It's me, Mario! This one works, but I've done this one already. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. 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 Right? I did this one? Wait, I haven't? I don't know, I don't remember. I played too much of this stuff. Alright, well, we'll play it. It's not ringing a bell for me.
Please come to the castle. That's gonna say, please come to the castle. The feast is almost ready, Mario. Please come to the castle. Ichi, why you ghost? And now she ghosting me! B3313-2. Nice castle we got here. Each very okay. Mamma mia. Note Mario doesn't have eyes and all of his enemies are eyeballs. Now, if you pay real close attention, you can see the subtext here. Alright, there's eyeballs everywhere, but they ain't got no eyeballs. So, it's like, kind of fucking mental, actually. Like, like mental subtext and shit. <laughs> yeah, bruv. No! Ah, oh, come on, man. Mamma mia! Mario, Mario! Chat, you know, I know a real Mario, and if you say his name is Mario, he gets mad. It, it's actually, for him, preferable if you say it as Mario. Why? Because that's the Italian New York way. I've told you this before. I mean, I've mentioned this on stream, but for anyone who's new... Just want to let you know, chat, the Mario stuff... It's not real. Not real chat. That's actually kind of creepy. So listen, chat, if one of these can actually frighten me like that pizza game did, or even the classrooms I played last week, if it can, if it can get, get scared like that, that would be so beautiful. Oh, man, Mario. Oh, where's the rewind button, Mario? Because this is going to get old real quick. Gonna get old. Yahoo! We have to Yahoo! do, uh, we gotta do save state. Give 
give it a shot. Considering that other one doesn't work. I have a, one more potential way to fix that other one. And then I have one more Super Nintendo one as well. Fun fact, the distant sound of Peach calling Mario's name is achieved by replacing the bird chirping sound effect that plays outside the castle. Huh. Vinny, are you alive right now? I don't know. Yeah, try again later. I'll let you know. B3313 has a few rooms based on this. Based! I don't think there's actually a way to kill. There might be, but I don't know what it is. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, good. Now this Luigi is a lug nut. And you gotta help us! <laughs> Don't forget to dip your lug nut into some nice oil, Luigi. The lug nut. Try not to go down there. It's actually, it's taking effort to not go down there. I think slow Mario mu music Music is actually very scary. Oh, come on! <laughs> we need the simple flip to do this. Ah, yes, the simple flip. We once knew of... A god in the Mario 64 arena. Well, that was many years ago. Oh, I saw a monkey movie. It was good. The monkey movie. It was fine. Yeah, it was alright. I mean, if you like previous three monkey movie from that, that trilogy of monkey movie, then, yeah, I think you would enjoy the new one. It takes place, like, 300 years after. Planet of the Apes? Oh, that's what it's called. Yeah. Monkey movie. I, w I was, like, pointing at the screen a lot, doing, like, monkey sad. Or monkey laugh. At one point, I just did monkey! I didn't actually say it, because I'm not an asshole, but... Vinny, there have been like five monkey movies yeah. this year. I'm sorry, what other monkey films have there been? Yeah. King Kong? Oh yeah, that is, I guess that's a monkey movie. I don't- Dune 2 is basically a monkey documentary, if you think about it. What? Ah. Uh. Wow. 
Ah. Has Vinny not watched Monkey Man? There's a movie called Monkey Man? Have you ever seen Dunstan Checks In, though? You can't name a monkey movie better than Dunstan Checks In. Guaranteed. Thank you, save states. <laughs> this this is reaching some pretty uh, insane levels of of difficulty here without save states, even with. And I know the pattern is predictable, but. This is insane. I'm going for it though, chat, because I kind of really, I don't know, I, I kind of like it, even though it's difficult, I'm enjoying it. I want to know what happens. Does Peach get her eyes back? Does Mario get his groove back? Alright. Well, I, I take back what I said about liking this. I love it. Come to bargain. Chat, it, what happened? My safe state is gone. What happened? What happened? It, it went away. It's gone. Press a button that switches save states. I don't know, maybe. Uh, I might have. I did. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. I did. I absolutely did. Very good, chat members. I was about to quit. Hell, the, the death perception. this beans. What do I do with this beans now, chat? Oh. Oh, that was a scripted death. Yeah, it was a short one. Well, at least I got to see the eye 
come at me. That's really what this was all about. B3313 references that ending directly. It was, yeah, it was a short one. I'm going to try uh, something to play that other one because uh, that was Please Come to the Castle and this one's special for you. And the name of this is is so interesting to me because it's like doesn't sound anything like a horror hack at all. So what is it? That's what I want to know. And uh, I'm going to find out because I'm going to play it on a different Nintendo 64 because I have several Nintendo 64s. I just found it. It took me a minute to find the N64. I had to plug it in and everything, you know? Let's see if it works. Special for you. It's it's not working. Ch uh, Chad, it's not working. Maybe some bad settings. Well, it's been bad settings on several N64s. Uh, I'll try something a little different here. Just try M Mario 64 special for you. <laughs> From 2015. It's only like a 12 minute hack, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I don't have the technical ability right now to, to fix this, and anything I've changed it to is, is not fixing it. So we might be shit out of luck on this one, chat. Have you tried Parallel Launcher? Oh yeah. Oh no, I, I did. It, and now it's broke. Parallel launcher is broke. There was a faulty update, and now I can't update it because I'm live. And I, I tried several other ones, too. So, sorry, chat. We're going to have to uh, forget about that one. But we got forest level. By... Someone named Underway. Try it on romhack.com. Okay, I'll, I'll try that, but again, I'm having issues with Parallel Launcher, so I'll give it a shot. Change below with your s level setup. Yes. They're shooting day for night, chat. With guilt like this. No, hang on. With the guilt like this. Are those tongues? It's just a pumpkin Mario face. Yep.
That's really, really cool. Lore room. Yeah. A, someone just said Jelka Lantern. That's cool. Oh no, my brother, he had date. Man, they didn't even give Luigi a death scene. Yeah, these are the underwater plant sprites from the actual game, colored red, to look like blood tendrils. And it's kind of effective. Background tiles technically not sprites. Alright, well let's get technical then, huh? What does Mario smell like? I stuck my finger in his empty eye socket and dug deep. Then I finally found it. The gate. Wouldn't that just be a gape at that point? I mean, most of this is... Oh, is that another dead Luigi? <laughs> there's, oh, there's many dead Luigis! quickly grabbed his trusty hammer. I don't blame him. After all, I was a very bad boy. Who's saying this? Hussein. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's correct. Keep going back to the same level. Hello, is someone there? The, the mud? Yes, it's been here since 1992. Just swept over the forest one day, never left. <laughs> Man, that mud. Now, wasn't that just Woodstock? Remember when people were like, just swimming in mud? Were you able to move on the map? It's different. No, I wasn't. No, that wasn't Woods- there was no Woodstock in 1992, but I just remember, like, there were mud- mud parties. People, like, living in mud just to see their favorite band, Korn, or whatever band it was. I think Limp Bizkin was there, as well. A man lived on a farm near here. We used to touch each other when the mud became unbearable and it seeped into our heads. Writing, yeah. Limp business. Limp Pliskin. Colonel, this is me. Limp Pliskin. Very, very different than your usual solid state. 
Right, solid snake. No, I said solid state. Yeah, hard drives. I've got an SSD. Yeah. My name is Limp Pliskin, and I am a part of the Anti-Nuclear Warhead Association. you're supposed to die in that room um may maybe i i don't know something's like kind of fucked up here because i'm going through the whole thing again and i don't really understand why give head give head not warhead it's our motto you missed a door in the poop chute Vinny, avoid the orb There's nothing else in here other than just orb. Frame? How, how, wait, how do I stop that from how? Oh. Yeah, I think you just have to find different, like, doors. Chat. There's a door on the right some ways down that dark hole area. You missed a door in the orb room? I, I don't think I have the patience to go through the whole thing again, chat. Clearly, we're, we're like you know, creating the level and clearing a path, but I might move on. I'll just take a look and see if there's anything in the orb room one more time. Oh, legend has it that there's a path to escape from excruciating guilt. You just have to look for it. Oh. Well, that's different. That's the- I thought that was the door we came in from. The pumpkin is here now. I don't think this is progress. Vinny. Oh, now he's gone. All right. All right, chat. So can someone link me to special for you? Melbert the R button? Okay, there it is. I see it. I'll try it from here and see if it works, but yeah, this is made... This is like one of the first Mario 64 creepy pasta hacks or whatever. Chad's saying press the R button in here. I did. Um... Yeah, I don't know, Chad. I'm, I'm like... I'm not looking forward to doing this level over and over again, so I'm gonna just stop that. And yeah, Parallel Launcher is is currently kind of 
Hmm. It's currently kind of a problem. That was forest level, yeah. Um, something is going on here. Something's not working here, chat. It's, it's so I, I need to install it again, maybe. It is recommended that you close parallel launcher.exe. I don't have it open, though, unless something errored out. I'll give this a couple minutes, and if not, we'll just move on to this boxing game that looks kind of like silly. Um, let's try this. No, I would not like to update now. Hmm. I'm running into a number of strange problems now. Is my PC haunted by Mario's ghost? Got it. It's me, Mario. Okay. Hello. Okay. <laughs> and now we find out if it was worth it. Even just that loud noise, chat's like, no, it was worth it. It was worth it. We have to do. We have to do something special for you. Chat, Lakitu is unavailable for camera work. Also, Toad is missing. Foot race. What does that say? It was foot race with Koopa the Quick. This a, that's not the first star. Chat, is this? all wrong and creepy? Mario, was it you who beat the big ba -bomb? You must be strong and pretty fast. How fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so. How about a race to the mountaintop where the big ba -bomb was? I mean, everything here is normal, it's just... Oh, wait. Chain Chomp is gone. And Lakitu is obviously gone. I wonder if anyone actually played Mario 64 in its entirety like this, with this camera angle. Miyamoto? I knew it. Probably some kid. It's always some kid. Some kid in like your third grade class that like you just didn't know he played video games and he didn't tell you because video games were not cool at the time. This isn't Bob Battlefield. This is an open Bob send Bob Battlefield. I don't know where we are. Is that the liminal man? Is that Gray Leno? Okay.
I'm sorry to tell you, chat, we couldn't afford another human, so we just made a tree. And we and we put some cardboard on it to make it look like a human. Cardboard. Uh-huh. It's very normal Mario 64 fare, of course, as usual. I kind of don't believe this is the first Mario 64 creepy hack. I, I, I feel like there's probably been other ones. But maybe, I don't know, maybe that is true. Do you think something scary is going to happen before I get to that door? No. Here we go. Just in someone's house now. Man, without Lakitu, this is this is tough. Here we go. Whose room is this? There's Jurassic Park. There's Super Metroid. Aladdin. Koopa the Small. Oh God, I'm sorry. Body found laying in bed, identified as 15-year-old son, no sign of struggle, death possibly caused by suffocation. Oh, well, this took a turn. From Bing Bing Wahoo, let's race Koopa the Quick to that. Found laying in bed. Special for you. Yeah. 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 Luigi, they're all yeah. dead. What happened to them? We have to do something special for you. My dear son, it's been a long time since I last saw you. Your mother won't understand my suffering, nor the way I miss you. Every day without you, a part of me breaks away. We... Many friends now. I won't stand any longer. I'm finishing this for good. Farewell. If only I could see you one last time. Yeah, in Mario 64. My dear son, I'm watching from afar, and you noticed me. I also noticed that I don't like your friends at all. You're clever. To me, they're just a bunch of immoral dicks. <laughs> I'll soon give them the fate they deserve. But you're different. I'm at your window now. You're just as beautiful as I remembered. My friends and I have agreed that you should stay this way forever. We have to do something special for you. <laughs> Game over. Okay. Something said, uh, people are saying, what was it? I missed it. I didn't- that was not my dedication sound. I had not done the dedication sound by the time this was created. This was in 2015. I did dedication like four or five years ago. I'm not gonna do that again. I would assume that's just the end of it, right? I mean... I don't know, it seems like that's it.
I don't think you can go anywhere else. It was just ends ends with a smiley face jump scare. I think that's the whole pack, chat. Uh, not much else to speak of there. It was good. I mean, there was one repeat, but overall, I thought there was some decent stuff in there. It's kind of become one of my things, doing Mario Horror. People seem to like me playing Mario Horror games. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Shadow, for making this pack. Let's see if there's any ones that I haven't played now. Let's move along to something a little different. Actually, quite different. I'm telling it to you. 